more explosive when he does pull the trigger. Like, it means a lot more when he really goes off. But if he goes off at the wrong time, you're giving Juice an opportunity to either grab you or down smash you. And at that point, throw the stock. Yeah, so I know um, there's so much love for Falcon in the city. We all know that Falcon is hype. Oh, word, 1, is, that, percent. is that what we call love? <laughs> we call that love? Oh, so much love in New York for a Captain Falcon. Not, not, not anybody that plays Captain Falcon, of course, but just Captain <laughs> D Douglas Falcon himself. And right now, though, we're just having a seesaw of a match. These guys are going to ham on each other. Yeah, they're fast-paced characters. They have no issue getting the damage on, so those percentages are going to be flying. But, Ooh. this is Juice we're talking about. Oh my goodness, that would have been a nice follow-up. How's that, that for your follow-up? That's another one, yeah. Juice at the ledge, never done. The only time you know you're safe from Juice is either if he's on the Angel platform, just after having taken his stock, or if you've done something to keep him at the ledge for an extended period of time. Zero Suit never inherently has an issue with getting off the ledge. It's just, you have to be prepared for it. She fast. All right. Smart move of the gentleman is just to assert stage control for that Raptor, who's kind of questionable. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Just missing All any right. follow-up, too. And, I mean, Jerry's got to put in a lot of work. 100, well, even if he gets the stock now, it's just trouble. Yeah, it is worth reminding that uh, Juice running with a stock lead. And... Ooh. Oh, he had the right idea, but... You know, it might be late in the game for hot takes on Smash 4, but <laughs> dare I say, Zero Suit's one of the most dangerous characters to allow to have a stock lead. Oh, that's it. She can just do that to you. She just steps on you. Those big boots, and then you're gone. Yeah. Yeah. So what's Fury going to do to get out of this one? Let's see. So Lilat's already banned. Let's see what's going to be Fury's response. All right, FD. No platforms. That's still going to be rough, though. <laughs> Uh, I understand the line of thought. Yeah. However, Fury's going to have to do a really good job with keeping Juice up with Ledge if he wants to do something with this. Because at any point, like Juice has the capabilities of turning around a juggle situation into his own favor. My goodness. If not, it starts in his favor. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Juice is just really all over him right now. But, okay, okay. Uh, Fury trying to make the comeback happen right now. Now we're even. There we go. You see, how even is it, though? Because we saw how how long uh, Juice was able to maintain his control. Mm -hmm. And arguably, that matters more than just having the percentages tied up. Like, let's see a stock lead. Let's, let's see someone keep someone else in the air for a while. But let's definitely see more of these jabs. Like, Fury recognizes that, yeah, it might not be the most damage or secure of a kill, but... He keeps on getting stage control out of it. I think it's just smart to keep going for that. Uh, he was looking for some sort of grab. But uh, of course, Juice is smarter than that, knows that. Oh, okay. All right, Raptor, this worked. There you go. And so this time, Fury's got the stock lead. Let's see how long he can hold on to this. Let's see if he can take advantage. Oh, but Juice is not going to take that easy. Oh my saying? god. Now we're back at even yeah. again. Lead's never a lead in this game. You gotta remember, man. Unless you're always losing, you're o you're always winning, and vice versa. And you never really know when each is ha happening. You could be losing and winning at the same time. Isn't such that crazy? A, such a Smash Four. Wild Beast. And it'll be laid to rest after tonight. We're gonna have the ceremony after the tournament. Yo, everyone <laughs> speaks of, as if this game is getting some kind of Viking burial. <laughs> Like, we're just going to find a sewer train that didn't completely uh, drain out water, put the Wii U's on a little boat, and then set them on fire. <laughs> like, why, why not set them down the Hudson that way? Or wait, if you're on the, we're on the east side, so the east river. You set the whole east river on fire, too. <laughs> oh, God. We're going back. Down smash. Up special. And All in a day. Juice moves on. 2-0. Good stuff to both competitors. As you said, what's going on? Yeah, we, we're definitely gonna like have the uh, the ceremony tonight. We're gonna have the bagpipes. We're gonna carry the box of uh, we use <laughs> out of the building, just on our shoulders. You know, all the pole bearers. You the know, but before we set a flame, <laughs> what 
is a, effectively a couple thousand dollars worth of equipment. <laughs> Not anymore. You... <laughs> well, relatively. Yeah, Like, no. have spent money on these. Oh, of course. Can you confirm, Devin? Did you spend money? My wallet is only a figment of my imagination. Mm -hmm. He's crying as he speaks. Now, I would like to remind the audience, uh, you know, 